Aha. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, okay. So we were um, studying um, tangent spaces, cotangent co spaces, um, and uh, maybe started with differentials. Um, also, we started uh, tangent cones. Uh, so, so let me recall briefly uh, about tangent cones. Mm. Um, so we have a point uh, in an algebraic variety, uh, and um, mm, then um, we have uh, the Zariski tangent space. Mm. Like this, uh, and inside we have uh, some sub variety, uh, the Zariski tangent cone. Mm. So um, mm, it was uh, more or less de defined uh, by some um, algebra of functions on it. Uh, but, but the only problem is that this algebra of functions mm, may happen mm, to have nilpotence, and then we have to mod out the nilpotent radical. Uh, so uh, the tangent cone is approximately, well, in the first approximation, the spectrum uh, of certain graded algebra, GX. Uh, and uh, GX um, is uh, the direct sum of uh, the maximal ideal um, of, the, of this point uh, to the power n modular uh, the next power uh, n goes from zero to infinity like this. Uh, so, so once again, it, it may happen to be um, to have nilpotence. Uh, so mm, maybe let me write it this way. It is uh, G prime, where G prime uh, is this associated graded uh, model of the nilpotent radical. Извините, но у от x же раньше не имело нильпотентов. Почему сейчас градуированные стало иметь? You ask how come this ring might have nilpotents? Да, ведь раньше, да. So I think we already uh, had this example, but maybe let, let's go over it once again. Uh, when our variety inside uh, the plane is uh, given by uh, the capital equation, uh, x square minus y cube is zero. Uh, and the, the, this point is the origin. Uh, uh, and then uh, maybe you can uh, check it out by yourself and see that there will be null potents. Uh, Okay, uh, so the, the tangent <laughs> cone mm, is uh, x. Uh, oh, sorry, there was a typo uh, here. Uh, the tangent cone will be um, the line, uh, um, the, the vertical axis. Uh, x equals zero, but with uh, with multiplicity two. Okay, so I have to kill the nilpotents and obtain just this line. Uh, okay, uh, so maybe let me uh, try to say it somewhat more explicitly. Mm. Um, if um, x uh, li lies in uh, some affine space, uh, like on this example, uh, and uh, again, mm, our point is the origin, uh, it doesn't matter much, you can just uh, shift the coordinates, uh, uh, then and say uh, x uh, is given by equations f. Uh, 
uh, one uh, equals and so on equals f uh, whatever k equals zero. So these are some polynomials and, and variables. Uh, and then uh, this tangent cone um, at zero of x uh, is um, um, cut out by the equations uh, f1 prime equals so on equals fk prime equals zero where uh, f uh, i prime uh, is the lowest order term uh, in the polynomial f i. Okay, well, like here it was x squared minus y cubed, and we forgot about y cubed uh, and uh, stayed with just x squared. Okay, um, but, but again, uh, this ideal generated by f1 prime and so on, fk prime uh, m m might have a non trivial radical. So, more precisely, um, mm, this tangent cone, uh, it, it lies also in the same space, an, that is identified with the Zariski tangents. Mm, no, which sorry, which contains. Uh, sorry, let me write down this way. Имеется в виду, что эти производные вычислены в точке ноль, да? Поэтому. Um, um, sorry, these are not derivatives. Let me call it stars, maybe. Okay, these are not derivatives. These are lowest order terms. Fine. Uh, so it always lines in the tangent. Uh, space which lies in the fine space uh, so um, is given is the zero set of uh, uh, the ideal uh, radical of i and uh, this ideal i is generated by f1 star and so on fk star Okay, uh, so, so this is uh, an explicit uh, presentation of this uh, tangent cone. Uh, okay, uh, and now um, there is some ge geometric meaning to it. So the proposition we are going to prove next uh, is that um, the, this tangent cone uh, is um, uh, the union of uh, all uh, limits of second, sorry. Cx, uh, это тоже самое, что t Cx. Um, say it again, please. Cx is the same as what? Вот в Кэмпфе написано, есть обозначение касательно ah, пространства конуса yeah, yeah, yeah. через yeah, thing, yeah. uh, <coughs> limit of seconds um, of x uh, through this point uh, x small. Uh, okay, so I will explain what I mean by this presently and, and prove this proposition at the next page. Um, so um, Again, let's assume uh, it's a local question, so we can assume that x is a fine. Uh, so we assume that x lies in some uh, fine space, uh, and um, uh, the pointed question uh, is the origin. Okay, we we'll lose nothing by this assumption. Mm, and uh, then um, uh, given a point, uh, say, y uh, in x, uh, that y is not the origin, mm, the, mm, the second uh, th through y is just uh, the line going through the origin and y. 
Mm. Uh, why? Uh, well, is the line uh, containing y and the origin. Uh, okay, so the, these are second uh, we are talking about. Mm, and um, now, uh, as y goes to uh, closer and closer to the origin, uh, the, these seconds uh, in in the projective space uh, do do acquire some limit, right? Because the projective space is uh, proper, uh, complete, uh, so there must be some limit. Uh, and uh, mm, say mm, uh, the, we take uh, the closure of uh, the set of all seconds uh, in the projective space. Uh, so let this closure um, be denoted by k. Uh, and then um, we take the, 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 the cone over this. Uh, so ck uh, is in the affine space, is the cone over k. Uh, and the, the, the claim we are trying to prove uh, this proposition says that uh, CK uh, is exactly the tangent cone to X at the origin. Okay, mm. this is the, the statement of the proposition. Uh, now we are trying to prove it. Um, so uh, we, to this end, we recall the very useful notion of blow up почему нам потребовалось брать именно замыкание без замыкания не работает i gave you a definition uh, so what's your question why is it uh, natural or what's the question it's a definition well, when I say limiting seconds, I, I mean this. And I, I think uh, it sounds pretty natural, so I don't know what to what uh, Okay. Um, so we consider this blow up, uh, and by the construction, uh, it was embedded, embedded into um, the product A n times B n minus one. Uh, so this was some incidence a correspondence. Yeah, the, the points in the lines. Okay, so it was the set of uh, points uh, y uh, and ly uh, such that y was a point in ly. Uh, but contrary to what we considered above, uh, this y uh, is allowed to be zero, to, to be at the origin. Okay. Uh, so above we considered some part of uh, the blow up uh, which lied uh, mm, over the punctured affine space. Okay, but 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 here mm, we uh, uh, can consider the whole thing, and in this whole thing there is the exceptional divisor. Uh, e inside the blow up. And it is given exactly by the equation uh, that y equals zero. Okay, so we have all the possible lines going through zero, but the point itself is zero. Um, fine. Uh, so um, the uh, seconds uh, were considered above. Uh, are um, just uh, the, the points, uh, mm, well, uh, let me say, mm, the, inver uh, the 
um, inverse image of x without the origin. Uh, so, so here pi is the projection from the blow up at zero uh, to the base, a fine space. Mm, okay. Uh, and um, now we can consider uh, uh, the blow up uh, of X. Uh, it is just the closure uh, of this pre image. Uh, inside uh, the blow up of the ambient affine space, and let's denote it by say x tilde or just blow up uh, at zero of x itself. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and um, then uh, e uh, sub x uh, is the intersection of the exceptional divisor uh, with the mm, blow up of x. So it's still the exceptional divisor. Uh, in the blow up of x. Okay. Uh, so, um, so then this uh, k, um, k above, um, in, in the first um, half of this page, uh, is nothing but uh, uh, this, this exceptional device, J just by construction, but by definition. Okay. Uh, and, and we still have to prove that um, mm, the uh, the tangent cone is the cone over the exceptional divisor in the blower. Okay. So we want to prove that. The tangent cone is the cone over k or the same as over the exceptional divisor in the blow up. Uh, fine. So, so, in other words, um, let's consider uh, another projection. We had this projection uh, from the blow up uh, at zero uh, of x uh, to x, that was pi, uh, and there is uh, another projection to p and minus one, let's call it pi prime. Uh, and um, mm, now we have to, to prove uh, the equality that mm, the projection of uh, the tangent cone to x uh, is our exceptional divisor. Okay. Uh, I'm still repeating the same statement without even starting to prove it. And now finally, we're able uh, to start. So, so let's start. Uh, we will check this. Uh, in the standard charts. Uh, di uh, in pn minus one. Uh, so di is um, the, the set of uh, x1 and so oh, it's x0, so on, uh, x, oh no, sorry, it's, it's x1, uh, x1 and so on, xn, uh, such that xi is not equal to zero, uh, or, or, or then since these are homogeneous coordinates, we, we can renormalize and say that this is the same as um, collection of inhomogeneous coordinates, y1 and so on, then yi is equal to one, uh, and then yn. Okay, so the coordinates are, <clears throat> it's, it's isomorphic to a n minus one, there are n minus one, independent coordinates. Okay, uh, so um, now uh, in, in this chart, 
uh, over uh, the i, uh, say, pi prime inverse of the i, uh, is um, well, it lies in uh, the i times a n. Uh, okay, and uh, th these are um, the collections uh, of um, uh, th th some points, but 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 they but by, by definition uh, in, in this incidence correspondence uh, they must be proportional. So they all, all look like um, pairs uh, of points uh, of the sort, uh, say lambda y y. Uh, so here, um, y is in um, an, uh, and uh, lambda is uh, just a number. Okay, and, and it, it can be it, it can be zero. Okay, in, in particular, uh, if lambda is zero, uh, this is the equation of the exceptional divider. Uh, Okay, mm, so uh, again, mm, th this pre-image by prime, sorry, inverse of the i um, mm, has coordinate uh, lambda y one and so on. Uh, there is no y i, uh, and then y n. Okay, again, this, this turns out to be just an, an affine space, and dimensional affine space. Mm, okay, uh, and um, f f finally, we can r r write uh, some equations for the uh, blow up of X itself in this ambient blow up of the affine space. Uh, but m maybe we're interested mm, in uh, the X without the origin. Uh, Okay, so um, when in, and in this chart, um, okay, uh, so so who, who are those? Uh, those are uh, the points um, lambda y and y, uh, such that first of all, lambda is not zero because we are uh, away from the origin. Uh, and also, um, mm, we require that f of lambda times y uh, is zero uh, for any uh, f that vanishes on x. Mm. Okay, so I just, just to take the equations uh, uh, on, on x uh, and the well, uh, and essentially do do, do not do, do nothing. Uh, on, only I substitute the, the points which are scaled by lambda into these equations. Uh, so, so nothing happens. Mm, okay, uh, but now let's rewrite this. Um, mm, uh, let's write this as follows. Mm, Using the fact that uh, that lambda uh, is not zero, so it's lambda y y uh, such that uh, g of lambda y uh, is zero, uh, mm, where uh, g is um, f of lambda y over some power of lambda. Uh, uh, but it is st still still such that this thing is still a polynomial uh, for some positive n, uh, and such that uh, g uh, is uh, a polynomial. Okay, uh, and um, now this exactly means that uh, uh, 
that the degree of uh, f, maybe, let me write it here, equivalently, uh, the degree, uh, maybe not degree, how to say it, the um, degree of the lowest uh, term of f uh, is uh, at, at least n. Uh, otherwise, this ratio will will not be a polynomial. It, it, it will it will acquire a singularity at lambda equals zero. Okay, but but if uh, n is sufficiently small, then this ratio will be well, well defined at lambda equals zero. Uh, and finally, if you still remember what we are doing, we have to uh, take the intersection of blow up of x with the um, exceptional divisor. Uh, and the exceptional divisor is given by lambda equals zero. Okay, so now I have to uh, put lambda equals zero in, in this thing. Mm. Okay, so unfortunately I have to turn the page. Um, mm. Excuse me, uh, uh, why we need n to be uh, more than zero, uh, not just uh, more or equal than zero? Ah, no, it's fine. Uh, Fine. N equals zero is, is fine, but that does nothing. Uh, yes, but so, I think that is it is equivalent to the definition uh, which was before it. Yeah, yeah, uh, certainly. You, you can take you can take n equals zero. Will it help me uh, go back and say n? Uh, yeah, because for for for, for, the, for the equation uh, mm -hmm. between uh, between uh, lambda y and y, mm -hmm. uh, where f f lambda y is equal to zero, it's the same as blah, 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 but with n, yes. And is it true? But but you said that uh, we need uh, n is uh, more than zero, strictly more. Uh, what does it mean? N, n can, uh, I agree, n can be zero. Uh, the point yes. is that we are going to put now at the next page mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in a moment, we are going to put lambda equals zero. You see, but when uh -huh. lambda equals zero, uh, if this n uh, was also zero, you will get just zero. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's not interesting. You, you, will, you will have such equations, but they will be tautological and uh, they will tell us uh -huh. nothing. Uh -huh. The interesting okay. equation will appear exactly when uh, n is the degree of this lowest term. Ah, this means that uh, if n is if... lower than the degree, you, you will just have zero equation. Uh -huh. So this this means that if uh, n is equal to zero, it's not a cone; it's just a tangent space, isn't it? No, we are writing all, all the possible equations for for the tangent cone. Uh -huh. Okay, but but uh -huh. if you choose uh, n uh, too small, then this equation will be trivial. It will be just zero equals zero. There will be no, no equation. Ah, okay. And we, the, the and we, we take only nothing. only arise uh -huh. from capital N equal the degree of this lowest term. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Otherwise, you will get, get nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, uh, the conclusion. Um, intersecting. Uh, this closure uh, with uh, the exceptional divisor uh, E uh, given by equation lambda equals zero, uh, we get, oops, sorry, yeah, sorry. Uh, well, we, we took um, the uh, pre-image of uh, X without the origin, intersected it with the uh, ah, chart, uh, the ith chart, uh, and now we take the closure. So, so in other words, we uh, we allow lambda equals zero. Yeah. So before lambda was not equal to zero. Now we allow lambda equals zero. So, so nothing changes, uh, or, or only we allow lambda equals zero, okay? And, and then we're exactly interested in, in what happens at, at lambda equals zero. Uh, okay, uh, so what we get? Mm. 
we, we get we get just, just the tangent cone uh, in, in the above explicit definition. Uh, so we get the set of all zero y um, uh, such that uh, f star uh, of y is zero uh, and uh, f star is the lowest order term uh, of f such that uh, f on x is zero. So we just re reproduced uh, the explicit construction of uh, the tangent cone. Uh, maybe at the origin. Uh, and that's it. That's the end of the proof. Um, uh, Okay, and now the um, uh, what? What? Hey, one advantage. Of this tangent uh, cone uh, inside the tangent, the risky tangent space uh, uh, is that uh, the dimension of the tangent cone uh, is uh, equal to dimension uh, of x. Uh, well, but maybe um, the local dimension at, the, at this point. Yeah, because it only knows about something around that point, and X can have some other components far away that have bigger dimension. Uh, so, so this has the same dimension, while the, the Zariski tangent space might have arbitrarily high dimension. If you remember your exercises, even for curves, it can have arbitrarily high dimension. Uh, so let's prove this corollary. Um, Mm. Uh, so dimension of this tangent cone uh, equals uh, the dimension uh, of uh, an irreducible component uh, Z uh, containing The point our point small x mm, okay uh, uh, maybe mm, mm, maybe maybe I should even say it uh, more strictly uh, not the dimension of the tangent cone but the dimension uh, mm, dimension of any reducible component of the tangent cone. Okay, uh, so so for once again, for any irreducible component of the tangent cone, uh, th there is a corresponding irreducible component of the space itself of the same dimension. Okay, so if or just <laughs> to, to to make a long story short, uh, if uh, the ambient space X is irreducible, uh, then the dim then the tangent cone is. Uh, Mm, well, the dimension of any component of the tangent cone uh, is the same as dimension of x. Yeah. Uh, for example, you can have such a, such a key, like a, a nod nodal curve. Uh, this is our capital X, this is small x. Uh, and then the tangent cone uh, to uh, this singular nodal point will be just across a union of two lines. Uh, so it is reducible. You see the ambient space capital X is irreducible, but the tangent cone is reducible. It can happen this way. So it may have more components uh, than X itself. On the other hand, X may have uh, like two, two tangent components like this, capital X, uh, and then the tangent cone at this uh, singular point will be just one vertical line. Okay, so we might have one or the other may have more irreducible component, but still the dimensions are, are the same. 
А, so, uh, now let, let's prove this corollary. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, we may get rid of all the faraway components that do not contain our point small x. Mm, and um, now the components of uh, the closure uh, of uh, x minus uh, zero. So, so again, we, we put uh, it's a local question. So we may assume that uh, our point is zero uh, inside the fine space, just as above. So we are going to, to use the above proposition. Uh, and the components of um, this closure uh, in, in the blow up uh, all um, have the form uh, the image of some irreducible component uh, z in x uh, cont containing uh, our containing the origin uh, and um, now uh, the exceptional divisor И uh, inside the blow up. Мы выбрали Z, ведь в, в условии следствия мы хотим построить такой Z, найти такой. Uh, yes, but, but uh, I, I, I'm using the proposition. Uh, I, I'm uh, using this limiting seconds seconds uh, construction, right? Uh, so I take the pre, -pre image. Uh, so I, well, I take the blow up of X. Yes, I, I take X without the origin. I take its pre-image and the blow up and take its closure, right? Uh, n n now I claim that mm, the irreducible components of, of this closure all arise from irreducible components of X itself. Yeah, D just because away from the origin, this projection is an isomorphism. Yes, yeah. okay. Uh, so the different divisor is, um, uh, given by uh, one equation. And th then we know that if we intersect uh, s s something uh, with, um, with, a, with, a, with a Cartier divisor given by just one equation, then the dimension drops exactly by one. Yeah, in principle, it could go, it could drop uh, even more but if we are intersecting with the Cartier divisor cut out by one equation, then dimension drops exactly by one. And it, it, it does drop because uh, this condition lambda equals zero is non-trivial condition. The, the pre-image of this component is not contained in the exceptional divisor. Okay. Um, so we know that the dimension of the intersection E with the closure Uh, is the dimension of z minus one exactly uh, okay mm, and um, mm, what what else do do we want uh, the, the tangent cone is the cone over this uh, so c zero x uh, is the cone over uh, E intersect uh, by inverse of X, uh, well, without origin closure. Uh, okay. And so when we take the cone over something projective, the dimension goes up by what? Exactly. Yeah. Mm. So uh, the corresponding component. of uh, the tangent cone uh, has dimension equal to dimension of Z. And that's what we need to prove. 
fine. Mm, okay, uh, so now let's uh, drive another corollary. Mm. Uh, and uh, well, it, it, it sounds extremely plausible, but somehow, uh, surprisingly, the proof is uh, rather long. Uh, namely, that uh, if uh, x uh, is a smooth point, uh, of an algebraic variety, mm, then uh, uh, it lies uh, on exactly one reducible component of X. Okay, so uh, ge ge geometrically, uh, intuitively, this is absolutely evident. Yeah, if you have two irreducible components intersecting, then the point in their intersection cannot be smooth. And that's true, uh, and we're going to prove this, but the proof is uh, surprisingly, uh, well, not, not one line proof. Uh, okay, uh, so, so um, uh, what, what, what do we know? We know that uh, the dimension of the tangent cone uh, uh, at, at this point uh, is at most uh, the dimension of the Zariski tangent space at this point. Uh, and since this point is uh, smooth, uh, then we, we, just by definition, this means that here is inequality. Okay. Um, Mm, but uh, on the other hand, we uh, we, we know that uh, by the previous corollary, uh, there is inequality here. Okay, so it, it means that uh, the dimension of the Zariski tangent space uh, so, so sorry. Uh, yeah, it is the same as the dimension of uh, the Zariski tangent cone. On the other hand, we know that the Zariski tangent cone is a closed subvariety of the Zariski tangent space, uh, and so we see that uh, the mm, Zariski uh, tangent cone coincides with the Zariski tangent space. Okay, uh, mm, so, so, so it means that uh, this uh, graded ring that was uh, the sum of uh, maximal ideal to the power n over maximal ideal to the power n plus one. Uh, it means that it's just uh, polynomial algebra. Okay, uh, because the risk tangent space is just an affine space. So this is eight to the power n. Uh, okay, so this is um, polynomial algebra, uh, and um, mm, in particular, it implies that uh, given uh, two, uh, two, two functions in here, uh, say f in uh, m maximal ideal to the power n, uh, maybe, sorry. So it's a degree exactly n. Uh, and g in m to the power k, but exactly power k. Uh, uh, then the, the 
their product mm. fg will lie in the power n plus k uh, and uh, exactly n plus k so the lowest order term will have degree exactly n plus k okay uh, and um, uh, this implies that uh, mm, uh, th that, mm, that the local ring uh, has no zero divisors. And that's exactly what we're trying to prove, right? We're trying to prove that uh, near small x, uh, the variety capital X is irreducible. Being irreducible means that the local, uh, well, for, a, for, say, for an affine algebraic variety, being irreducible ju just means that um, the ring of functions uh, has no zero divisors. So it's an integral domain, right? Uh, and that's what we're trying to prove about the local ring. Um, and we are almost there. Uh, the, the only uh, nuisance we have to deal with is that, um, in principle, uh, the um, intersection of all powers of the maximal ideal could be non-zero. Uh, and we have to rule this out. Uh, okay, so if, if we know that each element uh, lies in, in some power uh, of the maximal ideal, but does not lie in the next power, uh, then we are done. That then we know there are no zero divisors. Uh, but we have to rule out this unpleasant theoretical possibility that the intersection of maximal ideal powers may, may be non zero. Okay, so uh, it remains to check this. Okay, uh, so let's do this. Mm, and uh, mm, so surprisingly, th this requires some work. Uh, th though it also so sounds self-evident, but, but that does require some work. Uh, so we may assume that again, X is a fine. Uh, and uh, our point of interest is the origin. Okay. Mm, and uh, again, we consider the blow up. Uh, X tilde. Uh, this is the closure of the pre-image of X without the origin. Uh, and uh, say, let's denote its projection mm. to X, the blow up projection by pi. Uh, and uh, we know that uh, uh, the, the pre-image of the origin, uh, the exceptional divisor, uh, is given locally uh, by one equation. Um, and uh, mm, well, let's pick a point uh, in this exceptional divisor uh, and the uh, mm, equation, uh, say, E equals zero uh, is this equation. Okay. Uh, th then mm, we know that mm, the pullback of uh, some um, power of maximal ideal of this point uh, certainly lies in the mm, 
ideal e to the power n uh, of this local ring upstairs. Yeah, I, I mean, just uh, the maximal ideal itself uh, consists of points, uh, consists of functions vanishing at the origin. So when you pull them up, pull them back to the um, blow up, you obtain functions vanishing at the exceptional device by definition. So, that, so they must be divisible by this uh, equation E, uh, and the same applies to the capital nth power. Okay, so the, the, the main trick here is that we replaced uh, this maximal ideal uh, generated by many functions by the principal ideal generated by one function E. Okay, and uh, this will help us to approve uh, the thing. Mm, so uh, we will check. Uh, that the intersection uh, over all positive uh, integers uh, of, of these ideals, principal ideals, uh, is zero. Okay, and if we know this, uh, uh, then we are done because um, mm, given uh, a function uh, f uh, in the intersection of the max or the maximal ideal powers, uh, we see that um, its pullback uh, lives uh, in the intersection of. Uh, these ideals upstairs. Okay, uh, but but we know that this is zero. So hence we know that the pullback of f uh, is zero. Uh, but th this was true for arbitrary point uh, in the exceptional divide. Okay, uh, uh, so in the local ring. Uh, of any point y uh, in the exceptional divider. Okay, uh, and um, it means that uh, the pullback of f uh, is zero uh, in some neighborhood of the exceptional divisor. Uh, and uh, since mm, pi is proper, uh, this implies that um, f itself is zero in some neighborhood of uh, origin. Pardon me? Почему пи вложение? No, pi, pi is not an embedding. Pi is a projection. But, but pi upper star, the pullback, uh, certainly kills no functions, if that's what you ask. You ah, just pull mm -hmm. back your function for, from the base x to, to the blow up x tilde. Certainly, if function was not zero, then its pullback is not zero either, if mm -hmm. that's what you ask. Yes, uh, nice. Welcome. Um, Okay, uh, so, so in other words, in the local ring, f is zero. Okay, uh, so it remains to prove this <clears throat> uh, claim that the intersection of principal uh, ideals is zero. Okay. We'll do this on the next page. Okay, uh, and, and now here um, you, you don't need any specific of uh, the situation uh, and you, you take arbitrary uh, 
uh, local ring A. Um, and um, um, an arbitrary element of its maximal ideal. Uh, 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 and um, th then the claim is that the intersection of all powers uh, of the principal ideal is zero. Uh, that's what remains to be proved. Uh, so let's prove this. Mm. So take an element uh, in this intersection. Uh, I want to prove that this element is necessarily zero. Uh, so we define uh, the ideal mm, Pre-principal ideal uh, generated by this element, so to say, divided by e to the power n uh, a, uh, as the set of all um, elements b in this uh, in the ring, such that um, when you multiply e to the power n by b, uh, you get divisible by uh, this small a. Uh, and certainly this is an ideal. Uh, and we have uh, um, incre increasing um, sequence of ideals, uh, namely A, -A over um, E A in uh, A, A over E squared A and so on. Uh, Increasing chain uh, of ideals, uh, and now um, oh sorry, I didn't didn't say that this was uh, a Noetherian ring. Uh, that, that's what we're going to use certainly. So local Noetherian ring. Uh, okay, so since A is Noetherian. Uh, for this chain. The локальное кольцо при предыдущей, ну то, что мы доказываем основной теореме, оно Мётрова. Oh yes, all the rings are not Noetherian. Yeah, yeah. Certainly. Uh, Это по определению мы так, ну как бы в условии теоремы. Uh, Это следует откуда? Uh, in, in this claim, um, it's taken for granted, but uh, in, in our business. Uh, this is the, this is this was the local ring uh, of of a point of an algebraic variety, uh, and um, we know that um, all such local rings are noetherian. Mm -hmm. Спасибо. Um, so this chain stabilizes, uh, and we know that um, um, say a a over uh, e to the power n a is uh, equal to a, a e to the power n plus one a and so on um, uh, but oh, we know that uh, our principal ideal generated by this species element a small is uh, a, a over mm, uh, mm, well a, a, any power of e times e to any power, uh, and um, mm, okay, maybe let, let me define this ideal uh, that denoted by j, uh, and has this means that uh, j to e to the power n, uh, oh sorry, small n uh, equals um, j times uh, e to the power n plus one. Mm, okay, uh, and uh, this means, so I apply uh, the Nakayama lemma 
uh, to the ideal uh, j times mm, e to the n. Uh, and we obtain that uh, j to the power to e to the power n is zero. Uh, but we know that uh, this suspicious element a was exactly in this ideal. Uh, hence, the suspicious element is zero itself. And we are done. Uh, but once again, this was a surprisingly long proof of uh, a very evident, ge ge geometrically obvious statement. Mm, okay. Uh, so, so now, this was about the geometry of uh, tangent cones. Mm, and now let's move to another topic. Um, and our ne next topic will be uh, the differential forms or color differentials. Um, what about differential forms? But th these are only one forms. There are forms of higher degree exterior forms, but uh, so, so far we will consider only one form. Uh, and um, uh, um, this is a nice topic. Somehow um, I understand that you all know this from differential geometry and basic calculus or analysis on manifolds. Uh, and um, um, well, you, probably you remember that the development of this theory does require some um, analytic tools, not, not, not very much advanced, but still does require something. Uh, and then it turns out that after you suppose, know what you want to mimic, uh, know, know what analytical things you want to mimic in algebraic geometry, uh, then in algebraic geometry, it takes essentially nothing. You, you get everything for free. Mm, you just somehow guess how to, to give a, a good definition. And with this good definition, all the um, an, well algebraic counterparts of analytic properties come come for free. You will you will see this, but it's a an, an, an nice thing. Um, so um, well, we, we, we maybe already dis discussed something like this. I'll, I'll just recall that uh, um, given an algebraic variety. Uh, X, mm, we consider as diagonal embedding. Uh, delta into X times X. Um, and uh, then mm, uh, th th this Algebraic variety is uh, separable, so the diagonal is closed, uh, and hence is given by by some ideal uh, delta x is closed, given by uh, an ideal shift uh, j delta. Uh, in the structure sheaf of x squared. Uh, okay, uh, and um, now we take uh, this ideal sheaf uh, and its quotient modular its square. Uh, so the, the, then it's again a, sh a sheaf on uh, O x. Oh, so, sorry, sheaf on of I, well, a sheaf of modules. Mm, uh, Of uh, OXX modules on X squared. Uh, but since we uh, take the quotient of this ideal model, it's squared, it's killed by, by this ideal. By uh, J delta. 
so it is a sheaf of modules over uh, O x squared modular with sheaf of ideals. Uh, and this is nothing but uh, the structure sheaf of the diagonal copy of x. Okay, so all in all, uh, this uh, ideal modulate squared uh, can be viewed as a, a sheaf uh, on X itself. Uh, and this sheaf mm, is a uh, uh called omega x uh пожалуйста еще раз пояснить первое равенство вот фактор пространства равен равно локальному кольцу отображения диагональной the of structure sheaf no local ring just the structure sheaf Откуда там появляется условие того, что, ну, ну, а, на идеал, на J, дельта. Вначале мы рассматривали фактор кольцо, там были условия. Clearly, if you multiply J дельта by J дельта, you get into J дельта square. Да. It means that J дельта acts by zero on this quotient, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, so by definition, once again, this is the, the sheaf of um, color differentials. Uh, and um, um, we have a differential, uh, so the, the Durham differential. D from uh, the structure sheaf to the sheaf of color differentials. Uh, so locally, uh, D of uh, a function F um, is a, uh, so I, I want to write, I, I want to write down an element of J delta modulo J delta square, right? Uh, and this, this is it, it's F of, x1 minus f of x2. Uh, so I have two, two copies with coordinate uh, x1 and x2. Okay. Mm. Or else I, I may write it this way. This is the pullback of f under this, the uh, first projection minus the pullback of f under the second projection. Okay, and that it clearly vanishes on the diagonal, and then we can take its a class uh, modular the square. Okay, uh, so that's the definition of the Durham differential. Um, and um, in case uh, x is a fine. Uh, mm, this sheaf of differential, it, well, it is clearly uh, uh, quasi coherent, even coherent, uh, and um, so it's a localization of a uh, certain module. Mm. Uh, the model of color differentials. Uh, and uh, no, no, now let's discuss what, what is this uh, gl gl global module of color differential. Uh, so, well, conversely, uh, the global module of color differentials is just the global sections uh, of this sheaf. Uh, okay, so. Uh, how to describe um, 
this module. Uh, well, I claim that this is um, a certain ideal uh, modulate square, um, quite naturally. Uh, so I is an ideal in um, functions on x times x. Uh, so in other words, in the tensor square of functions on x. Uh, and who is this ideal? Uh, so let's maybe discuss this. Uh, so certainly, certainly it's, it's the ideal of a uh, diagonal embedding as before, uh, but, but how to describe it maybe m more explicitly or in different terms, uh, I'm sure somebody knows, or everybody knows. So can, can somebody tell me the an, another description of I? The exterior power. Oh, pardon me? The exterior power. Uh, somehow, somehow I almost cannot hear you. Uh, I don't know why. Mm. Say it again, please. Or maybe now I can not hear you at all. Say it again, please. Uh, so, Ivan, can you? Uh, well, there is something in chat. Exterior power. Uh, uh, but, but, but no, but, but you want an ideal. You want something inside uh, functions of x squared, yeah? So, um, maybe, Lyosha Piskunov, can you tell me? No? Or uh, Nastya Vikulova? Maybe it's connected to this uh, normal bundle, something like this. I don't know. No, no but, but there, well, certainly everything in nature is related to each other, but there is some very explicit uh, description. Mm. Uh, th this explicit description works for arbitrary algebra at all. You don't need to assume that it's algebra of functions of some variety. Uh, so, uh, maybe Vasya Radesinsky, uh, do you know what is the description? No. No. Uh, maybe Vei Chen? Uh, uh, maybe just um, the coordinate of the first copy is equal to the coordinate of second copy. Well, you, well, you, you, you just repeat that it's the the ideal shape of diagonal, yeah. But okay, let, let, let me tell the answer. Uh, so I is just uh, the kernel uh, of multiplication uh, uh, well of this algebra, a tensor a to a, where a is the algebra of functions on x. Почему других по другому этот идеал нельзя определить было? определяется как ядро. Why can't you define it in? No, you, you, we, did, we did define it geometrically in terms of restriction to diagonal, right? But uh, I, I also want some algebraic description, mm, namely as a kernel of multiplication. Ну, а. то есть, почему, почему именно ядро вот этого отображения? Это откуда следует или это определение? Почему идеал И есть ядро? А, why is it so? Uh, well, uh, because uh, uh, just to talk to talk to talk Tautologically, because um, well, you have this restriction map. So I is the kernel of restriction. Um, from uh, x to x, uh, from x times x 
to the diagonal. Okay? Just by definition. Uh, so point of possible. Okay? But this restriction at the level of functions, uh, this delta star uh, is just a multiplication. Uh, from A tensor A. Uh, well, as we discussed, this is the function on X times X uh, to A, the functions on X. Okay. Uh, welcome. Um, okay. Uh, so, um, well, uh, we just have three minutes. Maybe let, let's let me at least for formulate the next claim. Uh, uh, so it's a lemma about uh, this drum differential d from uh, k of x to uh, Keller differentials omega of x. Uh, so, first of all, uh, the uh, C is zero for any constant function okay. uh, and this is clear, right? Because uh, mm, let's, let's recall what was what was D. Uh, it was just the difference of two. Uh, mm, liftings, but the constant is lifted to a constant anyway, no, no matter if you lift from the second variable or from the first variable. Uh, okay, the second uh, is the additivity. Uh, the F plus G is uh, the F plus DG. Uh, the as evident, uh, now multiplicativity. Uh, or in other words, the Leibniz rule. Um, the uh, F times G is uh, F times DG plus, oh, sorry, G times df uh, and uh, this is uh, again rather clear uh, so it follows from uh, the fact that f of x1 times g of x1 minus uh, f of x2 g of x2 equals uh, f of x1 uh, times g of x1 uh, minus g of x2 uh, plus uh, g of x2 times uh, f of x1 minus f of x2. Okay, uh, now the next property is uh, that uh, this module of color differentials uh, is generated by um, uh, the differentials of functions uh, on all the functions uh, on X. Uh, well, as a module over the ring of functions. So once again, as a module over the ring of functions, uh, the module of Keller differentials is generated by the differentials of functions themselves. Uh, and um, uh, this is so because um, the <clears throat> ideal uh, uh, I, radial of diagonal uh, is generated 
uh, by the functions f of x1 minus f of x2 uh, for all functions over x. Uh, and um, uh, why this is so? Because it is clearly so for uh, the affine space, right? For the affine space, we know that the ideal of diagonal uh, is made just by the uh, differences of uh, coordinates, right? Uh, and uh, now x is a closed subspace of the affine space, and it fo it follows for x as well. Uh, but now the, my time is through, and I next time I will start with uh, one more part of this lemma, part D, uh, and we'll go go uh, on from this point. Mm, and I, I will send you the home assignment uh, shortly, uh, but. Um, Maybe it will, it will not, not very very clear how to solve it, uh, but but mind that now have uh, two lectures a week. So uh, on Thursday we'll have another lecture, and uh, I hope that after Thursday it will be clear how to solve the home assignment. It will, this home assignment will be due next Tuesday, uh, and you can start solving it after Thursday. Uh, then I hope it will be easy. Uh, okay, so. Uh, uh, excuse me, uh, can we ask uh, some stupid questions? Oh, yes, certainly. Uh, could we, uh, could we um, return to the page uh, seven? Page seven? Uh-huh. Yes. Here we are. Uh, so here we uh, spoke about the ideal, which we define uh, uh, on the up of the page. And yes. uh, after it, we say uh, that um, that our ideal A is equal to this ideal times uh, EN uh, yes. times A. And uh, yes. uh, I you, you don't mean, understand here, yeah? why it's true. Uh, but maybe if, if you think about it just a moment after we, after we finish, you, you will see that it's uh, clear. Uh, mm -hmm. Because I think that you there is a by, by, by the very definition inclusion. Uh, there is an inclusion, but uh, but, but it, it's also an equality just by the very definition. Uh, ah, it's equality. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I think I will think later. But so during the lecture, I can't mm -hmm. understand because I think yeah, yeah, that yeah. this yeah. Uh, this element a uh, is it in maximal ideal or not? Because maybe I think that it should be it should be. Oh. Mm, Yes, yes, certainly it is big because um, you see uh, the element E is in the maximal ideal and A is in the intersection of all those powers of E. Yes, so certainly A is in the maximal ideal for, for sure. Uh, oh, okay. Okay, so I will think later. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Можно еще спросить? Yes. Ну вот раньше мы обозначали касательно пространства по зариску, элементы касательно пространства по зариску, как DF. No, 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 no. It was cotangent space. No, 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 no. Oh, cot. Yeah, it was for cotangent space, not for tangent space. Yes. I understand. It's a very legitimate question. And next time I will explain that the fiber of this sheaf we introduced today is nothing but the Zariski cotangent space. So the Zariski cotangent space is at the maximum ideal E plus. I will explain this next time, and you will see that the Zariski cotangent space at all the possible points glue up into this sheaf, which we introduced today. So the fibers of the sheaf are exactly cotangent space at the points. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, professor, on, on the last page, I have a question. Yes. Um, here you wrote I is the kernel of restriction from yes. X cross X to X. I, but I think I should be the kernel of the of the closed embedding from X to X cross X. 
Then and the I, delta I, star. I is something in the in the ring of functions, and th th these are the functions on x times x, whose restriction onto diagonal vanishing. Yes, yeah, so it's the kernel of restriction to the diagonal, right? Yeah, but but um, then I think you should write um, the tensor product of uh, global sections. Yes. Be because um, and I underline you wrote and um, from from the, the variety x cross x to x, then it should induce. Um, uh, 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 because uh, the pull uh, yeah pull back should should be on the global functions. Okay, so, so this I should erase all right and should mm, of restriction uh, from k of x tensor k of x restriction to k of x and yeah, yeah you should invert invert the direction of from x to x cross x right, right. Okay, here too yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> right. yeah yeah okay thank you and embedding yes sorry about this thank you mm -hmm. okay any other questions uh-huh а извините, а как бы как, какой порядок будет все то же самое, как и в прошлом семестре, как же даем домашние задания в конце по итогу общая оценка по oh, yes, yes, just the very same way, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Понятно. Спасибо, понятно. Welcome. So then I'm saving uh, the lecture notes, and I will send them out. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm stopping the recording. Uh, uh,